Um, I have the opportunity to introduce the next presenter. Um, our next presenter is um, Dr. Bagenda Peter. He has a very extensive CV. I will just breeze through a bit of it. Um, Dr. Babienda is an assistant lecturer in the Department of Policy and Development Economics um, that is in the College of Business and Management Sciences. In, um, of, uh, he also holds a PhD in economics from um, the University of Nairobi in Kenya. Um, his areas of specialization are experimental and behavioral analysis of both, of both micro and macroeconomic aspects such as the environment, agriculture, forestry, inclusive growth, climate change adaptation, and welfare. Beyond these, um, um, the doctor is an enthusiast of time series, cross-sectional survey, and panel data analysis and interpretations. Um, Dr. Bavienda has about has has about six peer-reviewed journal articles, policy briefs, and many newspaper articles. He has been a member of several consulting teams, including um, the most recent ones and the design of the second national strategy for private sector found private sector development, empirical analysis of uh, youth employment projects and their impact in Uganda, and the value chain analysis of beef subsector in Uganda. Peter is also the current policy engagement specialist best for, inclusive, for the Inclusive Green Economy Capacity Building Program for senior civil servants um, at the EFD MAC Center. He's also coordinating a peer learning capacity program on um, the community forest management, among many others. Um, so please join me as we welcome Dr. Peter Babin. Thank you so much, the masters of ceremonies, uh, for those uh, kind words of introduction. I also want to join the previous speakers by um, uh, thanking the organizers, but also to, to stand on the on your established protocol. I am glad. Uh, to be here today uh, to attend this conference. Uh, but I must say that I'm here to represent my dean, uh, Professor Ibro uh, Okum Mike, who was unable to be here. Um, we appreciate this invitation as the School of Economics. And uh, since we are in that college, of business and management sciences, where we, together with the School of Business, uh, we teach these things of investments, returns, capital markets. So I want to use uh, these a uh, few minutes to just highlight some of the few things. And I must say that uh, uh, it is, it is it's quite difficult uh, for me from academia now to come after uh, the first panel, the WhatsApp group, I think uh, they, 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 they mentioned uh, most of these things and with, uh, from the practical uh, point of it. Uh, and it reminds me one time I was teaching uh, uh, investment, especially on uh, portfolio. Um, how you need to diversify and, and all that. And then one of my students asked me, ah, okay, sir, um, uh, you have talked about this, you should put your money here and there. Where have you put yours? Uh -huh. So it was really... Um, so um, 
I will talk. I will do some small introduction uh, since I, um, the organizers want me to talk about the the concept of inclusive uh, growth. You know, we can grow. We can see uh, uh, more growth coming up, but when it is not inclusive, uh, then talk about the sources of local capital as we have been. So. Um, uh, and, and what initiatives have come up the, the macro, at macro level, some challenges and then recommendations. And I want to do this as, as fast as possible. So uh, the, the local capital, simply the financial resources, financial resources generated are local, generated within, not from outside. Uh, generated but also invested within uh, our, our. And where, where can we get uh, this, uh, this capital? From the individual savings. Individual savings, uh, we uh, as individuals, uh, institutions, uh, business savings, if businesses are making some profits. And we are at a time when you look at uh, various reports in this country. Uh, I don't know colleagues from Kenya and, the, and, and Rwanda. But here, most companies, most businesses are crying a lot, even when you look at the URA uh, records, so at the decline. Uh, um, then the insurance, and, and I think insurance players have done their best in trying to mobilize uh, savings. The mutual, the UAP mutual, uh, um, the unit trust now, and the other players have come up, not only UAP and others. I think they are trying, uh, recruiting these younger people that keep moving in offices, looking for uh, servers. So they are bringing that money. Uh, then uh, we have the, uh, the circles. Most workplaces have circles nowadays. Uh, this circle. Uh, the forces, the Wazalendo circle, the police, and the rest. And all these are finances, which we can tap to use locally. Um, the retirement schemes, uh, like that of Makerere, we have ours, our own, which has grown. Uh, uh, it is quite big, and it is already investing. Uh, sales, here we have a big, uh, quite a big problem, that we have very few companies in our country that have gone public, that have listed. So still most people want to own uh, their businesses by themselves. They don't want to invite others. And that one limits capital. So you can attract the, uh, the local capital here by opening. Um, uh, and here in forms, I want to talk about the savings, investment loans, equity, uh, financial assets. And here largely, uh, I think the uh, the government assets, the treasury bills, the bonds, and the players, the brokers here are now doing good, uh, good work now. Um, you can open an account and start buying, contributing. So these are the innovations that are coming up, that are attracting uh, investors. So anyone, uh, and the, simply using your phone, call, your phone, if you are registered on mobile money, you have a, a USE account, you, you can buy, you can trade. We, we need to encourage that although there is some problem on information, information sharing, and um, just like the lady asked the question here of uh, integrity, a lot of counterfeit, a lot of, so some people are not yet sure if I buy this share on my phone, I have not seen anyone, I have no receipt, is it genuine? So those are some of the issues with the players need uh, 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 to talk about. Uh, you can see the, the, the equity is growing, uh, according to Bank of, uh, Bank of Uganda records, you can see around 70 uh, million US. That is 2022. I don't know by now whether this has, has increased. And um, uh, uh, even from abroad, we are attracting some money. Although in 2022, we had a very big drop. Uh, and this was showing uncertainty in our markets. Uh, the, the financial sector is still people are not so much certain and, and they, they fear for, for, for risk. But looking at other investments, 
Construction is doing well. Of course, you can see everywhere you are moving, even across the town here, Kololo, everywhere there are people are building. The structures are coming up. Electricity. I think that one wanted to make the point of our electricity. <laughs> Um, but where, where is the money going? Uh, oil, transport, someone talked about here, Uber and what. The, the Uber sector has, has so far failed to pick up uh, in our country here. So I don't know the players, uh, what you need to advise these poor powers who are involved there. Compared to Kenya, even Tanzania are doing better in the Uber. I think here the other point of integrity is still the ICT, but only 4% in finance and only 3% in manufacturing. Um, so uh, the, the, the inclusive growth, which I said I'll talk about, simply it means not leaving anyone behind, uh, irrespective of the gender, age, so all the use, everybody uh, should be involved. But as we are doing that, we need to be uh, conversant of the Employment is the gross, you know, you can have a gross that we call jobless gross. The figures are showing, we are reading the GDP has increased, the GDP per capita has increased, we are now entering the lower middle income, people are busy languishing or without jobs. So that is jobless gross, which is very common with, uh, if the gross is largely moved by uh, the service sector. The service sector does not create so many jobs as compared to manufacturing sector and the rest. And you can see this if you just move, moved here in Mukono, that place called Imbarara in the morning. You see so many people in a very small uh, factory. You, uh, if you have a mobile money, you need only one person there. So, um, but also environment, uh, poverty, income inequality, all those would be at, at their minimum. And uh, similar to that is sustainable growth. So as we are growing, we need to take into consideration the future generation. Not only looking at ourselves. That is the sustainable uh, uh, growth. So here you have to look at three components. The social component, which we talked about. Uh, job creation. The environment. And... Uh, uh, most people theoretically say the, the environment, people demand a better environment when they have more incomes. As your income increases, your desire for a better environment also increases. So the poor you are, the, that's why you see when you go to slums and the rest, it is very hard to find uh, a rich person in a slum. So as we are growing these three things to the move, economic, because we need to create jobs uh, and, and the rest. Um, when you look at our budget, which is going to be ready tomorrow, it's talking of, when you look at the ASIM, full monetization. So this is an advantage to us, that even the, the other people remaining, the 36 that are remaining in the village, in the subsistence sector, we need to bring them. So we need to uh, increase our efforts for financial inclusion. And, one, uh, and the, the telecommunication companies have done well the MTN, Airtel, the mobile money. Uh, there are so many people now with the mobile money. So therefore, us in the asset portfolios, we need to target these people by making uh, the processes very user-friendly. These people should learn how to start investing in the, in the bonds. Uh, but also encourage as many as more firms to list sales uh, on the stock exchange market. We want to have so more uh, companies, especially the profitable companies uh, listed at our stock exchange, at Uganda Stock Exchange. So as I start to wind up, um, once we have attracted more local capital, then it is one, the, the, the ease, the access, and here you can just look at the circle. If I use an example of the circle, for example, people are able to access funds for school fees uh, from the circles. So that, that's how easy it is without so much uh, hassle. Even at the workplaces, if you go to the circle, say the Minister of Finance, 
the, 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 the officials can easily walk in and in the evening put their order and then in the evening they have their money. Uh, I don't know under other circles. Uh, then also the more people will be included in the, in the financial sector. So the village groups, which started, they used to call them the Nigina, the Nigina groups at the church, Mother Union, Mother Un Mother's Union, are now slowly, slowly moving into having an account. So you are bringing more people in the financial sector, and that one will help you to uh, raise enough local capital that we can borrow, we can lend to manufacturers, those who are ready to invest. And, and that's what also uh, the insurance sector is doing. The unit trust uh, and the rest. Although the challenges of low return, low return, uh, our people still think that once I put 100,000 somewhere in a month, it should bring me 100. So when the investor says it can only give you uh, 1,000, the person looks at it as, as I'd rather stay with my money. So we need to look at, um, I don't know how to convince that actually money grows gradually. Money does not grow in one day. Uh, and and uh, it is a big challenge even with us, the younger people, who think we can become rich in, 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 in a mass. That if I've gotten a job as an officer somewhere, then uh, tomorrow I should start driving. Money grows gradually. So even when you look at these big investors, even the... The, they don't make a 20% profit of their, of their money. So uh, here now, you, the people, you have to come in and, uh, and make our people. We have, uh, they talked about startups. We have so many startups, capital rounds, many venture capital, not only from the government, but also from the private, from our development partners. They grow, uh, for example, they grow. You have uh, funds, I think, at the private sector foundation for the use but also in the Ministry of Gender, uh, uh, many grants to help uh, um, our youth uh, uh, start up. Now, um, uh, my thing cannot move. So, um, I just wanted to mention one thing of the financial literacy that we need to do more efforts to, to make sure that people are financially literate. And this one will help people to, to increase their transaction in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the financial sector. And that's what the, uh, the mobile, the MTN are doing. But others are still struggling. For example, the internet banking is still struggling when you look at the figures as, as opposed, as compared to the mobile, the mobile wallet and so on. But remember here, there is also a big problem of fraud. Fraud. So we need to guard our systems. As we innovate, we need to guard. Um, and, and you can see that there is a lot of money that moves in an economy here. One time over a, new, a weekend, I think it was last year, uh, where close to 8 billion ceilings were withdrawn in, in Endeavor, around Endeavor area. I think you heard of that. So if Endeavor area can manage to have 8 billion uh, just moving there, we need this money in the financial, uh, in the financial sector. And the, once the money is in the financial sector, it also helps to guard on this thing we are talking about, the corruption. Because any money that passes through the bank, you can trace. But this money in the sacks, uh, you are, people are keeping money in the sacks. But also that money is barren. If I can use the, fine, uh, the term that is very common, barren money. When you keep money somewhere, that money is barren. Invest it. So even when you say unit trust has low return, you put there you are you are 50 million every month at least you have something like 500,000 so the money is producing is not barren as opposed to but also someone will uh, will borrow that money and be able to create a job uh, uh, for for our people what has come up uh, UDP has some money the uh, we have the good regulator here for the stock exchange market uh, the CEO is here uh, the National Security 
there's NSSF, a lot of money there. Already the WhatsApp group talked about it. We need to invest that money uh, uh, here so that we, we generate more. But also now, the law has been a bit, some liberalization. Now we have other um, saving schemes coming up, uh, including like that of ours, of Makerere, which I've told you has grown. The, what remains is the investment, where to invest the money. Voluntary saving. So this one will help to bring money from the people. Uh, so that we have big money in the basket to lend out to the people. Um, the, the new PDA, uh, I think you have heard of the new PDA guidelines and the Act, which is a bit friendly, although the problem still remain of the late payment. The late payment of our local people. Actually, that's why our local people, if you go to private sector foundation in AGM there, you'll find people complaining. They are not paid. And... Um, then we have these bad manners of some accounting officers. You have to come, then agree again for on some percentage, then you are paid. So the, the integrity issues affect so many issues. So if we overcome that, uh, we shall move so fast. Uh, the industrial parks, so now you have where to put your money. The industrial parks are there. You can ask for space. Um, the agricultural credit facility at the Bank of Uganda is available. Uh, the other day, I, the, I heard there is another facility in the Ministry of Energy if you want to invest in renewable energy. So if you have, your, you have started your SME somewhere, you can go there. What we don't know is how easy is it to get that money. You know, sometimes we hear of the money, but getting it... Uh, uh, as if I think people just want to hear it. Capital grants from State House uh, and the rest. Uh, and this one has helped some use in the ghetto. Uh, but the, the, because of lack of financial literacy, this money usually is, is, is not uh, productive. Um, challenges. Late payment, I've talked about it. Low returns, but uh, that one is on our economy. A uh, few farms, I've talked about it. Tight, sometimes tight monetary policy. Uh, someone talked about uh, people here from Bank of Uganda being... Usually for us, we are low inflation, low inflation. We, our inflation should be low. But sometimes then we tighten so much and we increase the, the cost of credit, making it further difficult. You are aware in this country, the, our cost of credit is very high. So it is, it is very difficult to sustain a business on the loan. Some of these small SMEs that move around, when you look at the survey, some survey we did, it's because the owners are workers elsewhere. You are an officer uh, in URA or, or NSSA for Makiri or where. So sometimes you use actually your salary to pay back. Uh, that SME cannot pay back itself. For those who just depend on that, it collapses in the air. So we... we uh, and then money going outside because we don't own most of those businesses. Information asymmetry here, the information. So I don't know how we, we are going to overcome this issue of information, so that part aware. For example, there are very few people who know uh, that you can actually open an, a USE account on your phone and you start investing in, 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 in these assets. So we need to come up and... Uh, uh, deliver this information in various languages, not only English, uh, so that people can understand. You can come up with some pictorials, things of that kind. So, so that people can know. I have seen people who never went to school using mobile money. How did they know? So the same can be done. We cannot only say that should be education. Um, uh, I think the screen is telling me my time is gone. Um, counterfeit financial products, someone talked about it. Counterfeit. I don't know who shall guard this. But we also have these Ponzi schemes, you have heard of them. Uh, usually, I think, be headed usually by Nigerians, where they come here, collect a lot of money. Uh, what, what I know from the, my, my, my knowledge from the financial investment is that any sweet investment is not genuine. So if someone comes and tells you, put in 10,000, just 10,000, then you'll be earning 5,000 every day. Just know that is not genuine. 
So uh, anything that is so good to be true is not genuine. Unfortunately, many people go uh, for that. So we need to come in and, uh, and do that. Of course, some taxes. Uh, even in Kenya now, uh, you see Kenya had now gone at a, uh, a stage that nobody wanted cash. Just use your phone. Matatu, Mama Mbogo, everywhere. Uh, M -Pesa. But now I heard they brought a tax. So now people are going back into the cash. The same is applying here. We, were, we, were, we had gotten used just paying on uh, uh, petrol station and what. Then we put a tax there. So sometimes we, what is the intention? Do we want people to stay with cash? Or we want to go cashless? Cashless way is the way to do. It can even help us avoid some of these kicks you have been seeing. Uh, around because someone uh, suspects you, Ugandans move with money and then he kicks you. But if they know actually we don't move with money, it will reduce. Technological difficulties use access, infra internet infrastructure, and the rest. As we are moving to this, this uh, we need a stable. The president has just told us how he suffered. At least here in Uganda, you are able to buy a line. But in some countries, they have tightened. You may not buy it on the street. So that what tells you how open. Uh, uh, our economy is. One time I remember I went to Tanzania and then bought a line and then it didn't work. I have to go and, you have to go and register. In Kenya now it's also very difficult because of securities and, and the rest. So take, um, that is the uncertainty and so on. Uh, more financial literacy uh, is a means for trading. More flexible that is uh, that. More companies should be listed. And um, finally, thank you so much for inviting us.